Don't you love it when you watch a trailer and just get this feeling similar to falling in love that makes you all happy and excited? I believe this happened to a lot of people that watched the recent Half-Life Alex trailer or the first Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that was presented at its announcement. Sometimes this feeling can also pop up when entirely new titles get announced because they were able to present something that you have just been wanting to see happen. One great example of that will be the recently released game Nastas. When the initial trailer for Nastas was shown, I was captivated. The beauty and charm it was able to demonstrate in combination with the excellent music really convinced me to believe that this could be a game I would very much be interested in spending a good amount of time in. The game promised a vibrant world with a varied amount of flora and fauna to explore. In the trailers and gameplay demos that have been shown, we were also able to see co-op, combat, crafting, building, climbing, as well as VR support. December the 6th, 2019 hit and I got an email from Steam telling me that Nostos has released. A very awkward surprise as I've just recently checked the Steam page which had no date whatsoever. Very well, I thought to myself, perhaps the game is actually much more complete than the initial impression of a lack of release date will give. To no one's surprise, I was wrong. I played about an hour of Nostos before I refunded it, which is why in this video I won't talk about specific design choices as much as about the technical issues that got me to refund the game. I believe it would be unfair for me to complain about crafting, construction as well as other mechanics as I haven't really invested a lot of time into the game to be able to talk about their depth. You might be asking yourself, then why is the title of this video Do Not Buy Nostos? The reason is simple. The technical issues overshadow whatever good design there might be in this game. So let's not dilly dally around and finally get started with the list of technical issues. As soon as you start up the game and go to the settings, you'll get greeted by very bare bones configuration options. There are only three graphics presets low, medium, and high. There are no advanced options to customize graphics at all and no description as to what the presets control. Even on low, I have experienced major performance issues. I'll talk a bit more about that later. Within the lobby of the game, you'll be asked to enable voice comms as it supposedly improves the gameplay experience. Enabling it made me realize that this game actually uses open mic and everyone was able to hear me munching on my food. To add salt to this poor decision, the game actually does not offer a push to talk option. You either have the voice comms enabled or disabled. After going through several tedious setups that w could be easily solved using the main menu instead of a three-dimensional lobby, I was finally able to spawn on a co-op map with other players. The map looked awful, with very low polygon models and low resolution ground textures. You would think that at the very least, you will be able to get some good performance in such an awful looking environment. Afraid not. The game was, when lucky, running at about 60 frames per second. In slightly denser areas and in combat scenarios, the frame rate would often dip to 30 or worse, as it would literally freeze up for a few seconds every now and then. The combat was spongy and unsatisfying. Enemy AI will mindlessly attack players at random as soon as anyone is in weapon range, and at low health, the enemies would run away just to return to the fight 10 seconds after running without recovery. Having completed several tasks of the main mission, the game decided to boot us out with an error. The server has crashed. At that point, I decided to just leave the game and request a refund. Many other technical issues have occurred during my short session, but I believe I've already managed to make my point. This game clearly shows passion and potential, but it lacks any kind of polish. It's in a very early access state, barely considered playable. And if we look at the Steam store, it's neither advertised as an early access game, nor a beta of any kind. It's being treated like a fully fledged release, with the difference that the game dev is clearly aware of all the issues that plague Nostos. All I can say is that for the time being, Nostos is not worth investing any money or time into regardless of how passionate you are about this project. The technical issues are way too unpleasant to deal with. I hope the devs are and will be able to dedicate their time and budget into improving Nostos to a point where it becomes a proud title everyone will happily be able to play. Until then, I'll be watching and cheering from the sidelines.